This is Deborah Potter at News Lab, and I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to create a timeline using a tool, a free tool, called Dipity, dipity.com. To begin with, you need an account, but it's free to create, and then you can start creating a timeline. And as you can see, I've already started one having to do with the Gulf oil spill. And I've put in four what they call events with pictures and information. So in this case, this is the beginning of it all. On April 20th, if you double-click it, you can get information, more information about what happened. The methane bubble came up, exploded, 17 people were killed. Okay? So each event, you can double-click and read more about it, or you can just see it on this timeline. So now I'd like to add one more event. And to do that, I simply click here, Add an Event. And up comes a fairly self-explanatory box. Now, the event I'm going to add comes from this timeline that I've already found that tells me exactly what happened when. So I'm simply going to copy that and paste it in here under Description. Then I'm going to remove the date, since I don't want it there, and put it here, May 26, 2010. And I'll put in a title, Top Kill Attempted. Now I'd love to add an image, so as it happens I've found a lot of them. And here's one of the vessels trying to do the top kill. So I'm going to copy the URL of that image and simply point, paste it in right here where it says to. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to save it. Now when it saves, it will eventually appear on my timeline. Maybe not immediately, sometimes you have to refresh it, but in this case, there it is. Top kill attempted. So now you can see I have five events on the timeline, and users could explore this, learn more about it, and see how long it took for things to happen. It's a great way of visualizing a long-running story. What's neat about Dippity is in addition to making it easy to create timelines, you can view the information in several different ways. As a flipbook, for example, which simply puts up the images and allows the user to flip through them. They can see it on the timeline, but they see the images l in larger form that way. You can do it as a list. Maybe not that helpful, but a possibility if you want. And you can have your user expand it on that way. And of course, what you can do with your timeline flipbook or list is embed it. So you simply go to the right side here once you've pulled up the element you want, in this case the timeline and click on Embed Widget, and it's going to create for me, because I've made it private, of course, it will say it's not viewable, but it will give me an embed code for the timeline, or the list, or the flipbook, whichever one I choose. Um, it's fairly simple, and I think a very good way to show people news and information in a different form, using the advantage of online interactivity and timelines and images. By the way, you can also embed video if you want to. So that's Dippity, and that's how you create a timeline.